Whistler, here we come. What's up everyone? So this is going to be the first video of a part series where I go yeah. over what we did in Whistler, so how much we spent, and kind of the itinerary for our road trip there. So if you're excited for this, stick along and enjoy the ride. Are you ready? Yes. What am I excited for? Yes. Going down the mountain, relaxing. Moving <laughs> next Uber. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I've been snowboarding for about two years now, but in, a, in total I've only been about 10 times, but I love it. And so going to Whistler and having this opportunity was a must go and super nice opportunity. After getting past the border and getting to Canada, our first stop was TNT Supermarket. Wanted to make sure we picked up some food and groceries so that we could cook in our hotel unit instead of having to go eat out every night to save on costs. And so we bought stuff for a hot pot, Korean barbecue, some snacks, some drinks, some fruits, all that good stuff. We'll see the thick. Nice! And after loading up, it was such a beautiful day, we decided to head over to some dim sum. And so we hit up Western Lake. Western Lake was by far the best dim sum we've ever had and it was amazing. Our eyes are bigger than our stomach. We definitely would recommend anyone who goes to Vancouver to stop by and try out this place. They have amazing portions and the taste is just phenomenal. Wait, their football is so good. The football. What's the acronym? In Mandarin, it's Pan Shui Jiao. Right. And then in Cantonese is ham sui po. Like Kara said, our eyes are definitely bigger than our stomachs. This was definitely way too much food for all of us and so we didn't finish. But luckily we packed everything to go and these ended up coming in clutch when we got back into the hotel. And we finished these throughout the rest of our stay. And now we're off to Whistler. So I think from the dim sum place to Whistler it took us about an hour and a half. The road conditions were great, there was no snow this time, so the roads were dry. I guess that's what road conditions great mean. Oh my god. Anyways, these are just some random slow-mo clips mixed in with some b-roll that I took while in between naps on the road trip up. So uh, Kevin and Carol had to go get their gear, the rental gear, and so I am car sitting. But we're here in Whistler, and I'm excited. I think everyone's pretty excited. So I'm offering everyone sour candy so that they can wake up after the long drive. Where did you get this at? Safeway. <laughs> oh. After we checked in, it was time for us to check out the rooms. For this time of our stay, we had five people with us, and so we booked a two bedroom. There were two queen beds and a pull out sofa, which was plenty of room for us, and an in unit kitchen, which was perfect because we cooked a lot of our foods. It also came with a balcony, which was nice, that had a nice view of kind of the village area. This wasn't Whistler Village, but we stayed out five minutes away from it. It was also a ski in ski out resort so literally we could just pack our gear and then walk directly over to the lifts and not have to worry about parking and we could ski and snowboard all day and come back and rest. So after we loaded up our kitchen, for the first night we started unwinding down by watching Physical 100. This show is insane for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, the contestants there are incredibly talented in terms of strength. No, we're gonna die. Okay. No, death is waiting for us. We're gonna freeze to death, and we're not making it back. We're going to the pool. The pool was so sick. This pool came with two hot tubs, two jacuzzis, as well. Wait, I said that twice. Basically, there was two jacuzzis, one big pool, a steam room, and a sauna. Paradise for after a long day on the slopes. I feel like I've been deprived of water ever since the swimming days. Is it hot? 
feet are really cold. What was that? Wait, what? Oh my god! <laughs> After expending our energy in the pool, it was time for us to cook our first meal. And so dinner tonight was Korean barbecue. We basically cooked the meat over the stove though because we were scared the fire alarm would go off. Um, most of the meat, I guess. Had some fried rice and some panchan. Delicious. Nice job, Carol. And this part's funny because I didn't know my camera was on slow-mo. So all these videos in my head were normal clips, but... I think they're just kind of funny, being in slow-mo. Next up, Andrew was guiding us through kind of the mountain tour of which routes we could take and understanding whether we wanted to do blues and greens and definitely to avoid the blacks. And lastly, to kind of commemorate our first night, we hit up their game room or their media entertainment room where we played some billiard as well as some foosball. And so here are our totals for day one and I'll catch y'all in day two. Oh, See ya. Hey.